My name is Paul Worth, and I am a professor of history at the University of Nevada in Las Vegas, and I'm also the Gerhard Kasper Fellow here at the American Academy of Berlin. I'm working on a project that studies basically the long history over the course of several centuries and three continents of the Russian Empire and the Soviet Union, Russia and its large conception. The idea, the fundamental question is to determine, uh, in essence, what is the way in which Russia entered and contributed to the bordered world in which we live, and how did the creation of the border itself actually form the thing that we understand to be Russia? Uh, this is the longest border in the world. So some people know that Russia has a short border with Norway at one end, an even shorter border with North Korea at the other end. In between, you have some 20,000 kilometers of border. It's the longest border in the world. The story unfolds on three continents. as Europe, Asia, and in North America. And so I think the way in which Russia's thought about itself and positioned itself uh, and where its sort of population centers are in relation to these borders. I think these are some of the issues that I'm really interested in, in, un in unpacking right now. Really until February of last year, of 2022, my sort of supposition in some ways was that um, the collapse of the Soviet Union in essence was over somewhere in the mid-1990s with the resolution, or maybe the early 2000s with the at least temporary resolution of the problem in Chechnya. But what I'm realizing now is that there are many ways to construe what's happening, but in some ways I think what you're seeing is actually the continuation of the breakup of the Soviet Union. And so that territorial history, I think, allows us thinking in those grand terms, thinking in terms of seven centuries, thinking in terms of fluctuations of um, territorial growth and then retrenchment, allows us to understand, at least in some way, allows us to understand the attempt at uh, territorial aggrandizement that we're seeing even now, Though I think there are good reasons to suspect that it's going to be less successful than, for Russia, I mean, than it has been in the past.